Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flower Gold Wizard Channel. We're in the shop all weekend. I didn't get to make it out to the creek, but we've been busy. Let's see what we got going on. Well, we're building a brand new gravity fed high banker. I started on this one here and that probably would have worked fine. I've got some know, dream mat, micro mat in there. But why go small when you can go big? So I'm modifying my beach sluice, which I've since modified into a, a high banker a while back to use on the beach. And, you know, we're going to have two four-foot long sluices, basically, to run at the creek. And I'm going to figure out a way to get this baby to run uh, with gravity-fed water because uh, electrical equipment isn't allowed in Wisconsin. So what I did is I got a piece of my, uh, what the heck, punch plate here. Now that is three sixteenths holes, just smaller than a quarter inch. And I mounted it via these here clamps on the end of my sluice right here. And this has got sawtooth mat. And I'm just drilling each and every one of these holes right here. Just like this. So we have a nice even pattern. I am started that from that side here and I'm about not quite halfway, but we will get there. So let me finish drilling up these holes and we'll see how this baby looks put together. Now sure, we could go out there and classify five gallon pails and drag them up the creek or down the creek and find a spot to set up a sluice and all that. Well, this is fun working in the shop and inventing new equipment. And if once we get this baby running properly, you can set it up anywhere. Uh, a lot of times the really good gold is nowhere near anywhere you can set up a sluice. And this will fix all that. So let's get busy. And bam, 2,000 years later, and we finally got all these holes drilled. Turned out really nice, just how I wanted it to. Now these holes are just slightly smaller than the holes in my uh, my punch plate I had before. Reason being is my VDR mat gets clogged up with little teeny rocks about that size right there. If I don't have enough pitch and I don't have enough water flow, and a lot of times it is like that. So I wanted to make this just a little bit smaller and I got all the burrs off. It's real smooth on both sides. Take a look at that there. Oh yeah, eh, it was kind of hard to see and I got a couple extra holes in there, but that's okay. All right, step number two. And maybe the most important step. Mm -hmm. The fridge of wonder. All right, now here's my river sluice right here. It's up on these legs that I have attached to the sides and I do use this at the beach. But uh, in high banker mode, it requires just a little bit uh, more tension, if you will. Uh, you can raise the, the body of the sluice up or down. And in this case, we're going to want to try to figure out a way to run uh, gravity-powered water. So we're going to have to try to keep this as low as possible so we don't have to lift buckets or whatever we come up with too darn high to uh, get this thing to work uh, comfortably. So let me show you what I got sitting here. All right, so notice, if you will, how low, how high, actually, this thing is off the ground. All right. Now, the last system I had, uh, it was similar to this. It was down just a little bit lower, but it was quite a bit of a smaller unit, like the, like the one we showed. I showed you earlier, that really small one. And uh, the bottom of the five-gallon pail, which I had sitting up on stands, was right about here. So lifting a five-gallon pail to dump that in there, uh, wasn't too bad, but uh, you know, it could be better. Now, if we're in two feet of water or, or 18 inches of water, you're obviously going to want to have your sluice up and out of the water, so that might dictate a little bit of how, uh, how low you can have your sluice. So we'll just leave it right there for now, and I'll go ahead and I'll attach our top unit, uh, the business end. All right, so currently there's no way to mount this here system on top of this here system right here all right it just i mean there's so you gotta think of something right so we did had a couple of beers came up with this now i've got a couple of old legs here 
uh, from this or from that, and they just slide right on here, just like that. Let me bend over and grab this here, son of a gun, and we'll slide that one right on there. Piece of cake. Now, the reason those are on there is because I have to have this end up high enough to get the material to slide on off and out the end of the sluice right there, having the liquid mixture, our slurry, and all our gold fall through those little holes. So here's what we came up with. Well, as it turns out, it's another one of Mrs. Wizard's clothes hangers. Yeah, we just snipped it off a little bit, nice long piece like that. That should work. And then we drilled a couple of holes up high. I kind of set this where I thought it would be a fairly good angle uh, to get rocks to kind of roll off there. Uh, not too fast because you want it to be able to work the clay and all that off there. So I figured uh, this would be a fair angle. I mean, it could be adjusted. And then I just drilled a couple of holes right in the top of this thing here. Now I would rather run this, hang this thing with the with this here clothing rod here, clothing hanger, then set it on top of something. This way it can't go back or forward. It's not just resting on there. That's a really good solution to keep that baby in place. Now the other end. All right, now the other end, I, I wanted to be able to get this thing, I wanted to be able to move it up or down just a little bit. Oh, that works really nicely. So I had this piece of tin all sawed up and made up nice for my high banker system on the beach. And I thought I could repurpose this for this here application right here. And I can. I can set that thing right in line. Here's about the holes where they start right here. I can set that thing right behind it. So all those holes are on this side of where that piece of tin makes the 90 down. And all the rocks will go right on off the end. And they can't go back this way because of the back side of this piece of tin right here. See what I'm saying? Here, put it, put your material up on here. Kind of washes on off of there and you scrub it around. Now, I don't intend this to be a, a capture mat for sure. I mean, it maybe it'll catch gold, but there's going to be an awful lot of activity on there. And I still want to use this particular sluice system out on the beach because that sawtooth mat works fantastic. So here's our holes down here, which we hope will throw a lot of most of the water down and through our system now i do expect there to be a little bit of water runoff on these ends right here you see that that flat spot i left those there for a reason uh, i don't know why <laughs> but i did and uh, i see that the smaller holes leave wider flat spots where water could potentially run off there as well but we'll get to that in a, that solution in a minute and here is our piece of tin underneath See how it just sits on there? I can push down on that good and hard. That thing's not tipping up. And the material fall down on that tin. And off it goes down into my sluice system right here. So far, so good. Now, if anybody out there has ever attached silicone to metal, you know that that bond is seriously permanent. I mean, you. it took me a little while with a razor knife to get the silicone I had on that thing off. It's a really good bond, and silicone is pretty darn durable. And uh, might not last forever, but it will certainly do the job for a few trips. That's a guarantee. So here's my solution to our water problem. Well, I'll just take some of this here caulk, and I'm going to put a bead of caulk right here. Just like that. There we go. And I'll put one on this side. A nice, big, thick bead. Just like that. And that goes all the way up to the top. I'll just give that little top a, a nudging. That'll force the water in inside of where the bolt to where the holes are right here. There shouldn't be any water running over that. It's got a round gusset type uh, feature to it, doing that in a corner like that. And then I'm gonna take my silicone and I'm gonna put a line all the way across the middle right here. Just like that. Now, it's not a very thick line. It's just enough that the water will hit it and splash up and butt back just a hair. And when it gets over the top, it has less of a tendency to be moving that way. And it'll splash through those holes a little bit faster.
We'll try to get a up close and personal view of that. See that, how the corners are rounded? Just kind of naturally does that. Squeezing a tube of caulk in those corners right there. I use silicone to uh, hold my mats down and it works quite well. It's extremely durable. And there's our little bead going across the middle. I think that'll do the job fancifully. All right, and last but not least, water delivery. Now this probably isn't gonna be too handy in a gravity fed system, but I still intend on using this system at the beach. And what better to do it with than my new Flower Gold Wizard Smooth Water uh, header box right here. Before I attach this, let's go ahead and take a little look at it. All right, I gotta tell you, a lot of work and a lot of testing and a lot of prototypes went into these final models right here. Go ahead and take a little gander. Uh -huh. We have a six inch, an eight inch, and a 10 inch model. And we're currently working on a three inch model <laughs> for cleanups. So the 10 inch model that fits on there really nicely, I'll go ahead and brag it up a little bit. Uh, it's the same thing concept as we had before, except the old tank isn't on the bottom. Let me actually grab one of my old ones back here. See if I can find it right here. Uh, here's the model we started out with. Um, Pete Prospector Trip made this here and uh, passed it along to me, and it worked absolutely fantastic. And um, he wasn't interested too much in the production end of it, so I, I got a hold of, or actually somebody got a hold of me, Wes, the designer, I think his name's on there, Designs by Wes. Uh, got a hold of me, and we came up with these right here. Like I said, lots of testing. These things will put water out so smooth, you could shave your darn beard with it. Uh, it comes with uh, like clamp type paper clips on the bottom there. Now don't get me wrong, those things are absolutely sturdy. These things were cold tested in a freezer. They're dropped a little bit here and there, but they work fantastic and they're a little bit more uh, compact than the old design right here. Now I intend on keeping that one because it still works fantastic, but these new models are really something. These eight inch ones, just absolutely beautiful. And these here, I've had a couple of these made. One fits on my six inch VDR sluice and the other ones uh, have that paper clip type bottom on there, but those things are built to last. These things are absolutely amazing. And this baby, which by the way, we are in production and uh, we do have a limited amount of these right here. I mean, you can only produce so many at a crack. So it's basically first come, first serve. Do not send me money until you contact me first. Because <laughs> I don't want to hold on to people's money until they're made. I just want to have them in hand, send them off uh, as they get ordered. So uh, keep that in mind. I'll have a list out of pricing, etc. in the description box below and uh, in all my videos uh, coming up here. So uh, don't fret. <laughs> And yes, I left enough room with this here uh, clothes hanger that my sluice will fit right underneath there. Look at that. That slides right off of there, right on and off. It's good tight fit. That is absolutely brilliant design. That uh, clamp pinch mode design right there. I couldn't be happier right, right now with these things. Uh, so basically this baby is ready to roll. All we gotta do is test it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All we gotta do now is come up with a name for this puppy. Hmm. Well, I'm still coming up with the best possible solution for a gravity fed water system. Uh, there's just not enough time in the day, <laughs> but we will come up with something good. I'm not sure if I wanna have a five gallon pail hanging there again or not. Maybe something off to the side. Maybe one of you guys could come up with something. The comment section is an excellent source of information. I found that out over the years and I appreciate all the great information I get from you guys. So go ahead, let me have your best shot. See what you can come up with, with the pictures I've sent to this thing so far. So until the next episode, like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. It helps build our channel. Check our Patreon page in the description box below. Flower Gold Wizards out. Mm -hmm.